This will happen when God wants to exalt you in your potential. When God wants to uplift you in your abilities, bless you, this is what you will begin to see. Before we get into reading this, my name is Vera and this is Active Potentials. If you want to discover your life assignment and manifest it to the fullest, this is a good channel to subscribe to. Be sure to click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for notifications on uploads and on live sessions. So we have here in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 16 where God asked Samuel, the, the prophet Samuel, to go and anoint one of the sons of Jay-Z. And now there is a specific son that has to be anointed, which is David. Let's see what happens here. But the Lord said unto Samuel, look not on his countenance or on the height of his statue, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel. And he said, neither had the Lord chosen this. So um, Jesse began to show his sons to, to, to Samuel. But then God had told Samuel, you don't have to look at their statue or their height or their countenance or how they look. There is a specific one that God wants him to anoint. So you see God going to every extent to ensure that the right person is being anointed. Then JC made Shama to pass by and he said, neither had the Lord chosen this. Again, JC made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. And Samuel said unto JC, the Lord had not chosen this. And Samuel said unto JC, I hear all thy children. And he said, there remained yet the youngest. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. See, God is always after those he wants to bless. When it's time for your blessing, God will ensure that everything is done, done for you to, to get um, the anointing. So the prophet said, they will not sit down until David comes. Praise God. And see what happens here. He says, now he was ruddy. This is David, what David was arrived. And without, without of a beautiful countenance. He didn't really have a beautiful countenance. And godly to look to. When I read this, I, I believe there's a godly look. And the Lord said, arise, anoint him. For this is he. So you see, God is not looking at the outward appearance. He was ruddy. He was not somebody who was really handsome. But the Bible says he was godly to look to. And then God asked Samuel to anoint him. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. So, Notice that David gets anointed and then the spirit of God comes upon him. At this time, he was already tending the flock, already in the forest, doing what he's doing. But now the spirit of the Lord came upon him after the anointing and see what happens in the next, in the next um, chapter. It says, David is brought to Saul. David, the next verse, David is brought to Saul. Because of the anointing of the Lord, he began to go before kings. And then the rest is history. Praise God. So when God wants to exalt you in your potential, he will send a prophet to anoint you. So be keen on those who come to you. Be keen on men and women of God at your disposal. It may just be God saying, hey, it's time for you to be exalted in your potential. It's time for you to get an uplifting. Praise God. Now I want to make a prayer for you. I want to pray that you be spiritually sensitive when your blessing or who carries your blessing comes and that you'll not be hidden. Because notice here that David was not, was, was hidden. He was in the forest tending the flock. There are a lot of things that happened in this place. David was in the forest tending the flock. So if the prophet just came in and then just chose among the sons without the leading of the Lord. David would not be anointed. Someone else would be anointed. But the prophet was keen to follow God's instruction. Uh, we're going to pray that first of all, 
I pray in the name of Jesus that your anointing will come. It will look for you wherever you are. God's prophet would find you wherever you are. No one will be able to take your blessing in the name of Jesus. I pray that you be spiritually sensitive to know when the prophet has come for you or when an anointing has come for you. And if anybody be an intermediary between you and the prophet, that God will favor you. God will find a way to get you seen in the name of Jesus. Here, the Bible makes us understand that prophet Samuel insisted that is there no other son. If he didn't insist, maybe Jesse would have deceived him into giving one of his sons to anoint. You're going to take this prayer seriously as I pray for you. Receive it. Father, I pray that the blessing over the life of this person watching me will not tarry, will not be transferred to somebody else. Lord, you will do all things possible just like you did for David, for this person to also receive the anointing for full potential in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you because this is a confidence we have that every time we pray, you answer us. We are amazed at your wonders. Blessed be your holy name. Receive glory and honor and all adoration in Jesus' name. Amen. You were so blessed. Please be sure to drop comments, subscribe. And I'll always be with you to lead you on, to guide you to your full manifestation. Shalom.